Dang it. On a previous episode where I showed you how to remove the jack shaft bushings on the Jaguar V12 engine, uh, you can see that they're out back there on the E-type engine. And you can see that we've already got the front bushing started here. But I told you that it was just the reverse of the removal process, and that's not quite true. These back here, certainly, that's pretty easy. You just simply do the same process in reverse. Here, however, in order to do that, we would have to insert the bushing from the rear. And it's just not a real good way for us to get that bushing started properly, making sure that it's straight. Up front here, you can see that you've got all sorts of places that you could put a square. This whole front of the block is cut off flat. So it's an easy matter to take a square and just see, you know, take a few measurements and see whether it's in straight or not, and then just take a mallet and lightly tap it just to get it started. Another thing you want to do is make absolutely certain that that hole in the bushing is lined up with that hole coming up from the main bearing. You got to make sure that those two are lined up because you need oil getting to that jack shaft. If, it, if that's not the case, it's going to wear out right now and the engine's coming out again. So, what we want to do is we want to take this bushing and we want to drive it in so it's just underneath the surface there, about a sixteenth of an inch. The edge of it is about a sixteenth of an inch inside of this face right here because there is a plate that is sort of like a pickle fork that comes down and it uh, goes into a groove in the jack shaft and uh, it maintains the position in and out of the jack shaft. And if you've got that bushing sticking out a little bit here, it will uh, not cause that to be in the right position. Not a good thing. So you want to avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the threaded rod, we're going to extend it using a union nut and the leftover piece of 3H24 uh, rod that we had left over from the original three foot piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to be pulling on this back here. This uh, back here is, to my mind, expendable. I think it's probably to uh, support the end of a tool as they machined all these bores, you know, the front and the two rear uh, uh, bushing bores. And I, that's what I'm going to use that for as well. Now, what I did is I made a piece that will fit in there that is basically the same thing as we use to drive these two out, except it's bigger, so it won't slide through the bore. And you notice it's got a flat on it. That's because you can see that there is a radius right here. And what that flat will do is allow this bushing to sit flat against there. Otherwise, it'd be, it'd be cocked at an angle, which I can't do now because we got that area cut off. So anyway, and you can see that it's threaded on the inside there, three quarters or three eighths, 24. And so I'll install everything and we'll uh, see what it looks like. And to make sure you got everything right, take a pick with an angle on the end and stick it down through the hole to make sure that you got those holes lined, that oil hole that's coming up from the main bearing, make sure those got lined up. And make sure that you've got the bearing recessed just a little bit below the surface right here so that plate can sit flush. Job done. Well, no, we got those two to do. <laughs>